what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking jazz 84 and today i would like to talk about dying light there's a version of dying light the special edition going for three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. that's a quarter of a million better come with a lot of packs of kool-aid man because i'm not going to pay a quarter of a million just to buy a goddamn game so we're going to be talking about those details right now in the video but before we get into that guys i wanted to show you what i've been showing in midnight blue and also in madden joe i see it it's a green ball Oh, what the fuck? Not only do I have to worry about his precise passing, I have to worry about the scrambling too, so I have to contain my defensive lineman. And it is fourth and three. That has to be an interception. Come on, Lance Briggs. That, that was on your hands. Put some glue on those hands, man. Moving on to our first topic, Dying Light that cost $387,000. I'll be putting a picture on the screen so you guys can see what they're going to give you in this version. Now, this Dying Light Special Edition did give you uh, parkour lessons, which pretty much can cost you like around 300 bucks if you just buy them like locally or something. So I don't really understand the, the parkour stuff, but I guess so. I mean, I would like some parkour lessons. Uh, they're also going to put your face in the game, but I think... It's not that big of a deal. I mean, do you really want your face in the game? It's just, I don't know, but it, it's, it's cool and all, but hey, I'd just rather let them just take a picture without my consent and just put it in the game. So I'm guessing that's one way they can put their face in the game. Uh, another thing they can give you is a custom built zombie proof shelter. Now, this one's a toy house, and you know, for sure, that, that, that alone for sure costs like around 50 bucks. So I don't understand. Know where this all coming out of? You know, like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It doesn't really make sense right here. Uh, take take trips with the developers, and um, you know, pretty much you're gonna be taking trips with the creators of the game. And um, sounds pretty cool and all, but <sighs> yeah, actually, that sounds pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it doesn't matter what uh, company it is from. I'll take the trip. Um, the next thing they're gonna give you is some night vision goggles, which can pretty much cost you like 300 bucks if you buy them like in some store in Amazon or something, or maybe even less. I'm pretty sure like 250 dollars and less for night vision goggles if you buy them in Amazon and stuff. Uh, four signed steel boxes of Xbox One copies of Dying Light. Four signed, signed by who? Like Chuck Norris? I mean, if it was signed by Chuck Norris, that's worth like more than a thousand dollars right there, but. Um, like by who's it signed from <laughs> that's my question if it's signed by Chuck Norris I'll take it <laughs> moving on to the next thing they give you an X2 Razer headphones I'm pretty much cool with my headphones that I have is the PX22s I mean, you can literally see them in the camera right now I crossed out MLG so is all these things are all these things worth Three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. Seriously, are, are they worth three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars? I think not. I mean, the parkour lessons—you can pay somebody to teach you, like personally. I don't know who, but like, looking, looking like in your local area, and just type in Facebook or in Twitter, like, who can teach me some parkour? You know, for five hundred bucks, I'll pay you up front. That's a five hundred bucks right there, or three hundred. You never know who's accepting like the least amount of money. Um, what's another thing? Your face in the game. It's really not necessary to have your face in the game if you don't want to. I mean, you can literally create yourself in WWE 2K15 or some other game. But if you want your face in the game, you can just ask him or email him like a message saying that like, you can have your face in the game. I mean, it for sure, it doesn't cost that much, man. I'm pretty sure it's like I don't know a thousand dollars just to sign your face or something. Like, come on, man. Technology has advanced so far they can just. Put your face in the goddamn game. It doesn't cost that much. A uh, custom built zombie proof shelter. Now that one for sure uh, costs like 150 bucks. I mean, it's gonna be at, made with actual steel, and you know, I understand how much those things cost. So I believe it's like 150 bucks. If the one, the Minecraft house costs like around 38, imagine how much this thing should, should cost. Like I think this would be like 50 some, but you know, it's dying light version. So I guess why, you know, it should be like around 150 bucks for it. Uh, the night vision goggles, I already told you how much it costs like in Amazon and stuff. You can just buy them off and it will cost you less than 300 bucks. Uh, the four assigned steel boxes of, of uh, Xbox One copies of Dying Light. You don't need that many copies. What are you going to play on? Like four different Xbox Ones? No, man. Just, you only need one copy. So <laughs> I don't know why you need four. You want to sell the rest of them? It's going to cost you like 40 bucks in GameStop or less. You know, they're there to steal and stuff. 
Uh, moving on to the next thing, which will be the Razer headphones. These cost me, these cost me like around 68 on Amazon. The original price is 75, I believe. And these are the uh, PX22s. Yeah, PX22s. And sorry if you can hear me right now on the mic because I'm moving my headset. So, yeah, I, re I really need like a regular mic so I can just talk. So, <sighs> so that is it. That's all I want to talk about. You know, my opinions on this. I don't think it's worth a quarter of a million. Seriously, who has like a quarter of a, mil uh, a million dollars just laying around just to ready to buy the special edition? Might as well just sell it to a developer, another developer, or just sell it to a celebrity. You know, get fucking Jamie Foxx in there and fucking just invest a quarter of a million dollars just to get his face in there. Might as well. Fucking Call of Duty is doing it on a, on a story mode. Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> so that is it, guys. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, or moans, or complaints, let me know in the comment section. I'll read them later. So then something else. I uh, tend to do this, like, till March 17, because right now I have no FPS, you know, interest right now. I don't like playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare nor Battlefield 4 at this point. I mean, it's really not that interesting no more. So that's why you don't see me uploading a lot here. Just a small message to you guys. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more gaming news for now until March 17. March 17, going to be playing some Battlefield Hardline. So we're going to go 24-7 on that. See you guys later and subscribe for more.